this conflict that's taking place in the Middle East, the portrayal that is given is that it's super complicated. You're never going to understand it. This is a conflict that is going on for decades, for centuries. And that portrayal is patently false. This conflict is super easy to understand. You don't need a PhD in political science to understand what is going on in the Middle East. On the one side, you have a colonization power. You have an aggressor state. And on the other side, you have refugees, displaced people from their lands. This conflict does not require any background information other than a cursory understanding of what has happened there for the last 75 years. A simple question, where did the people of Gaza come from? Why are they trapped behind 50 foot walls? Their grandfathers were expelled from the land of Palestine. Their grandfathers were forced to leave their houses in the middle of the night. For three generations, over two million people have been displaced from their homes. So this issue is not something that requires a lot of background information. It is extremely easy to understand. And anybody who tries to portray it as super complicated is trying to obfuscate the reality of how simple this conflict is to understand. Secondly, secondly, one of the tactics that is used in order to repel any type of sanity to this very, very uh, clear cut topic is the accusation that criticism of a country is the same as criticism of a faith and nothing could be further from the truth. This is a patent lie and a blatant falsehood. We and all of us, and I'm a person of religion, we are not criticizing any faith. But it is possible, and I say as a Muslim, it is possible to criticize the Taliban and you're not criticizing Islam. It is possible to criticize tyrannical regimes in the Middle East and you're not criticizing Islam. So why can't we criticize Israel and there's no criticism of the faith of Jews. There is no criticism of Judaism. This is a criticism of policies of a state, policies of a nation state, policies of an apartheid regime. So to criticize a country has nothing to do with criticizing the faith of a large group of people. We have no problem with the faith of any person of faith. We do have problem with bombs dropping on innocent civilians. We do have problem with 40,000 people having lost their lives. We do have problem with an apartheid regime that has been active in that system for over 75 years. The third simple request I have for all of us here is to please look up what people that are completely new have said about this. People that are not directly invested. People like Nelson Mandela. If anybody knows what apartheid is, it is Nelson Mandela. Go listen to his interview online about how he defended Palestine, about how he himself said that what is happening there is apartheid. And his grandson recently visited the country. His grandson who grew up under the apartheid regime of South Africa. Do you know what his grandson said? And this is in The Guardian in multiple newspapers. His grandson said, and I quote directly from the article, in some ways what is happening to the Palestinians Palestinians is worse than what happened to us black South Africans. This is the grandson of Nelson Mandela. 